Well, I'm a bit upset. Just got done recording an episode of KB, KV Mecklen. Messing up the team name right off the bat. And uh, Streamlabs changed my mic to default, which I, it didn't record any audio. Let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Feels like that's the second time I've said that in the past 30 minutes. Well, it is. Yeah, I recorded uh, the last match, and the audio didn't record because Streamlabs reverted back to default on the microphone. Don't know exactly why, so we've played quite a bit of matches since where we last left off. Uh, the friendlies, though, I mean, obviously, we're not going to show those on screen. We did look good, though. We beat Barcelona and Ajax, and it uh, lost to Porto and Benfica. Went out standard. Beat them in the seventh round of the Belgium Cup. We got a lot of goals in this. 4-2. Norman Williamson gets a goal. Rob Schiffs gets a goal. Miskovic gets a goal. And Banu gets a goal. Richter picked up a little bit of a knock in this match. He was ready to go, though, for the next one, which we win 2-1 to against Ghent. And uh, Miskovic gets a goal. Richter gets a goal and picks up another injury as well in this match. Uh, what None of them was serious injuries. Then we went out and played Vosselin. Schuffs gets a goal, two, two, gets a brace. I apologize. We win this 2-0. Uh, the match I recorded, first one, we won that one 3-1. Banu gets a brace. He misses a pin for the hat trick. Kalen Knott gets a goal as well. Then we went out against Gink, and we, it was a close match. It was a, They had a really good goal, a really good goal in this one. Uh, as you can see, the XG, I mean, we, we edged out on XG. They edged out on the final score line, though. And I'll show you the goal. It was, I mean, it wasn't like just a world class goal by any means, but it was, it was a nice goal. I'll give them that. They, they, I mean, yeah, it was, it was a bit disappointing. Just a boom right there. It was, it was nice. It was a nice goal, but uh, yeah, it'd been nice to get that win because the team that we are competing with right now for second place standard, they got a draw in that match as well. We could have jumped them in the standings. Unfortunately, we didn't do that though. Today, though, now, now we're going up against <laughs> ooh, a team. Uh, yeah, we're going up against these two guys. There we go. We got Walsh. We got Walsh in goal. Struggling, guys. We got Cook in goal. A back four of Walsh, Van Lenberg, Norman Williamson, and Dacey. Midfield consists of Schiffs, Essahal returning from injury, Hart on the left-hand side, Kawhi on the right, Richter on the left-hand side, Bono up top. I really butchered through that lineup. Uh, after this episode, though, I want to go over contracts. We got some contracts. No, no, after the, before the backtrack, let's slow it up. Just slow up, Brack. Take a deep breath. Okay, we're not going to go back over the lineup again because I really struggled with that, but I do want to go over some contracts, some uh, very interesting contracts to be up front. We got, we got some guys that are expiring this offseason, so you. Transfer window is open right now. These are the guys that we have that's contracts are expiring. Alexander's contract's expiring. I want to re-sign him. Uh, Jotty's contract is, is expiring. Don't want to re-sign him. Kawhi, plan on re-signing him just because he does have a little bit of a veteran presence to us. And, and he's looked good for the majority of the time he's been there. He's, he's struggled over the last five games. Airmans, uh, I don't plan on re-signing him. I mean, it's, it's tough. It is. He's a good player for us. But, uh, yeah, I, I just don't see us re-signing him. And this one right here, this is the one that's getting me. Gasan, his contract's expiring. Go to offer him a new contract. I want to be an important player. Start the season. Okay, well, maybe we'll wait a little bit. Well, we've waited a little bit, and he still wants to be an important player. Uh, and, I, and I can't offer that to him. So what I plan on doing is signing him to be an important player and him not being an important player. And it's going to piss him off, but he can get over it. That's the way I look at it. He's, 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 he's got a man up about it. It is what it is. I apologize to you. No hard feelings, Gasson, but uh, I want you on my team because nobody's interested in you. I tried a transfer list to him. Nothing happened. Got an offer in for like under a meal. And it's like, eh, that's not worth it for me. So we're going to try to, we're going to re-sign him when he's ready to get signed again. Uh, and and that's, that's the plan with him. It's, it's a bit tough though, but that's enough of the contract talk. I, I got over it. There we are. Here's the team that we're putting out there today. I do need to change up the bench a little bit. I want Miskovic on the bench. He is a little bit tired, which is why Hart is in the lineup as well. Uh, who else do we want? I would like Kalen not to be on there because he scored in one of the matches. So that leaves us taking out you. Who else do we want on the lineup? I mean, I think I'm pretty good with that lineup. I think that's what we're going to roll with. Uh, we've already went over the starting 11, so we're not going to do that again. And it's time to get into this match. Maybe we can get a good result here, and uh, maybe Standard can have another hiccup. I doubt it. They've been pretty good this season. We're going to pump the fist. 
hopefully get a better result here. We're wearing our lovely third kit, which I actually do really like. Well, they got some bad form coming into this match, don't they? And we've had some pretty good ones besides that last match. All right, let's do this thing. I love this third kit. I like it a lot. I wish I wish we wore it more. I wish you could actually like choose, hey, uh, let's wear our third kit in this match today instead of it just being really random. Richter, is he going to get a pin here? Looks like he is. The last time I picked uh, Banu for a pin, he missed it. He's motivated today, though. Do we do it? We're doing it. Banu's going to get an opportunity. Ooh, <laughs> barely missed the mute in the mic on that one. I apologize. Had a sneezing fit right there. Bono to take this pin. Uh, the AR rolled it a pin. He takes the shot, gets it in the bottom at, at bottom corner there, puts us up 1-0, 14th of the season for him. Good stuff by the youngster. You love to see it. You love to see it. I'm really happy with him. I'm ready to see what he can develop into as the future. I said it in the last recording that's not going to go on YouTube. Uh, what I plan on doing is I'm going to obviously have a beta save. I haven't announced the team. Uh, I'm still working on the thumbnail a little bit. So we're going to have a beta save. And I plan on honestly carrying KV Mecklen through the actual release of FM22. Daegu will end at the end of FM21. And, and the reason for that is, is we're further along in Daegu. We've done a lot more. We just got done winning the AFC Champions League there. And... uh yeah, it's, it's just the way it is. And this one's still going. I mean, like I, I feel like it's just now getting to the, the good stuff. We're getting some youngsters in. We want to see how these guys develop. Essa Hall with a shot there. He doesn't finish on it. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan. It's It should be fun. I'm, I'm excited about what it holds. Hey, hey, look at that. We've moved up in the second place. Now, now granted, Sander does have a match in hand. They're not playing today. Okay. <laughs> we got to give them that. But we are right now sitting in second place. And it is more important now because – we no longer have a spot in the Champions League group stage as, as Belgium. Uh, we got demoted, I guess, and now we've just got two spots like in the, the qualifying of it for the group stages. So uh, two top spots are very important right now for us. We got that money on this year. We want to get it next year. We want it, that, that just helps develop the club. We can add to our facilities. It's really going to help out the squad. We can uh, bring in some better Belgian players, bring in some better youngsters from other clubs, You know, not having to rely on – the African nations and uh, Eastern Europe to bring in players. Maybe we can actually go to South America at that point and, and do that. I know we could probably already do it, but I don't want to, I kind of like what we're doing with, with the, with the squad that we've got. It's like, we're bringing, bringing a bunch of unknown players together and, and trying to make them work. And, and it's working out pretty well. Schuff's has the ball, plays it to Essa Hall. Schuff's now with it again to Essa Hall. They're playing a little back and forth. They don't know who wants it. Walsh gets it here. Kawhi on a run. Kawhi with the shot and it stopped. We could be up 3-0 right now, I feel like. We've had some good opportunities that we just haven't capitalized on. Dacey misses ahead there. Norman Williamson's there to save him, though, because that was uh, a pretty clear path for the, the attacker there. Cook to Van Leberg. Cook Van Leberg just runs with it a little bit further than I thought he would. Why now? On that right-hand side, coming back into the starting lineup. Knock had the last two starts. Why he's wanting to get something out of this one. Walsh to Hart. Kind of hit a little bit of a dink. Hit, hit, hit a little bit too much dink on it. Hit it over the top of the bar. Schuffs wins this ball. It was kind of closely contested. Van Leberg back to Schuffs. Van Leberg once again with the ball. He's got Schuffs. They're playing back and forth. They don't know who wants it. He says, no, you, no, you. Essa Hall now plays it on the left-hand side to Richter. A guy who, let's be honest, has had a very disappointing season. As good of a player as he is. Dacey to Hart. Dacey again. Plays it into the box. He's got Banu. Banu gets his head on it. Doesn't get the finish. Man, we're not finishing on these attempts. And I feel like it could come back and bite us. We're going to drop some encouragement on the guys. I don't really... Nah, no, no, nobody's upset. Why would I drop encouragement on them when they're not upset? We're going into halftime with the 1-0 lead. And uh, defensively, we looked good. Besides that one miss, mistimed head by Dacey uh, that Norman Williamson cleaned up on for him. We looked really good. They've only had two shots. This entire match, so we're we're doing well. Cook maintains possession here, just picks it up, rolls it out to Norman Williamson. He's got Richter on the left hand side. I passes Dacey. Richter cuts it inside. He's got Dacey now on that left hand side, making a good little run here. It's closed down quickly though. Dacey over to Hart. Dacey again. Hart now with it. Gets it to Dacey again, who could do that. 
I was I was going to say he could turn and shoot, but I was hoping it would be a little bit more than that. We're looking good. 11, sh 11 shots on target, and we've got one goal out of it. We've got an XG of three, and we've got one goal out of it. It's a bit of a disappointing match. We're getting a little bit tired out there. Schuf's has played a lot of minutes lately. Uh, I, I want to go ahead and take him off for Miskovic. And we're actually going to go do a little bit of a swappy swap here. Miskovic is coming on that left-hand side in the, of the midfield. And I think we're going to roll with that right now. We're not going to make a second change. I don't see a need of it yet. That's, that's the first change we're making today. We could take Richter off. He's not having the best of games if Alexander's on there. Seems like that's what we always say about Richter. Not having the best of games. Kawhi. Cuts it inside. Got a lot of yellow kits around him. Plays it forward. It's pushed back. Van Leberg maintains the possession for us. He's got it down on the right-hand side to Kawhi again, who didn't do nothing with it last time. He's got Hart. Walsh now. Hart. Walsh. They're back and forth. They don't know who wants it either. Apparently, they thought the other team wanted it. Norman Williamson picks it up here. The highlight is continuing. It's a long one, boys. Daisy to Richter. This is always those highlights that I always hate to see happening to me. Hart. I'm going to see myself out on that one. Uh, we're going to make a change here. Daisy's getting a little bit tired. He's played a lot lately. Vanders is coming on. Vandas. I'm sorry. I call him Vanders. Um, uh, what do we want to do with this final change? Do we want to get him off? I don't have Mr. Anderson on the bench, so no. We're going to get Richter off for Alexander. Richter's not had the best of games. So let's get another guy on there that, that can do some stuff for us. Alexander from a set piece, doesn't do anything with it. Tried to play it in the box. Nobody could get to it. Norman Williamson picks it up. Back to Walsh. He's got Van Leberg on that left hand, right hand side. Walsh to Hart. Out to Van Leberg once again. They're playing, they're playing it nice. Just wasting some time. Walsh back to Hart. Working it in the box. Alexander coming on, making an immediate impact for him. Fifth goal of the season. Rob Hart's on the assist. Taking that 2-0 lead. Very crucial in these last 10 minutes to hopefully put this match away for us. Good job. Go ahead and Give yourself a clap, guys. Go ahead. That was lovely. I think we should be winning this match 5-0, though. We're going to go ahead and skip it for some reason. Don't know why. Looks like we're going to wind down with no other highlights. Okay, I stand corrected. Kawhi from the corner. Kicks it in. Looking for Van Leberg. Gets his head on it. Challenged the goal keep. Goal keep done a good job. Wins us another corner here, though. We're going to get another crack, another another good shot here. None is good. Norman Williamson got it in there, and he skyrocketed that thing. It was It's still in orbit right now. 2-0. Uh, Sandy Walsh was our best performer with a 7.7. Outstretched arms, good win for us. Way to go, my dudes. Let's go. Carried on to the next match. I don't know who we're playing. Who are we playing? Playing one of the teams I don't know how to pronounce. I know that much. I think it's that team. I think it's Yeah, I think it's number 17. It is. So we played 16. Hey, this is a good episode for us, guys. 16 and 17. Man, that's, that is some good content right there for you guys. Uh, no, nothing to note in the emails. So we're going to get on to the next match. We made a couple change-ups to the defense, and, I, and I'm actually thinking about going back on it now. And I actually am. I'm going to bring Walsh back in. I brought Junior on. And the reason why I don't want to make too many changes, no, no, let's do it. We're doing it different. We're doing I'm backtracking on everything I said. Daisy is coming on the lineup. Walsh is coming out. We're bringing Junior on. And, and uh, the reason why I don't want to do the two wing backs like I had originally planned is because Norman Williamson is also out. He's suspended for this match from all the yellow cards he's picked up. we got Cook and Goal, back four of Junior, Van Lenberg, Mr. Anderson, and Dacey. Midfield consists of Schuff's, Essa Hall, Miskovic, right-hand side, Kawhi, left-hand side, Richter up top, Banu. And uh, another player that's not in this match that we we I, I wanted to start in this one's Alexander. Picked up a little bit of a knock. He's uh, going to be back in about five days, so he's not going to be in the lineup today, unfortunately. For him, I wanted to just because he scored in the last match. And uh, that left wing's kind of been a revolving door this season between him and Richter. And I feel like Richter has been more consistent, as bad as it says. He's, he's always puts out like a 6'5", six, 6'4", six, something along those lines. But uh, Alexander, he comes out and he either puts out a 7-point-something rating or a, a 6.1. So it's been revolving. It's like, okay, Alexander's in good form. Throw him in the lineup. Okay, he's back out of form. Get him out of the lineup. Get, get Richter back in there. Uh, good result today. Hopefully we get jumped above standard. They must have won their last match. They're back ahead of us. I don't know where you're, are they playing today. Hopefully so. Hopefully so, so we know before the end of the episode where we're sitting at. 
We want to get that top two spots. Miskovic with the ball. Plays it out to Richter. Back to Miskovic. Dacey with the ball. And we've got a good chance of getting three points out of this match. Banu gets ahead on it. Sells it just over the top. Are they playing today? Or standard playing? Standard are playing Anderlecht. Huge matchup in the league right there. we got to keep a close eye on that one. Wow, 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 wowza. The only thing that could be bad in that matchup is if uh, it's a draw. We don't want it to be a draw. Junior plays it back to Cook, who hangs on to it here, moves it up to Van Leberg, got Essa Hall, playing it out to Schuffs. Essa Hall once again to Miskovic. Essa Hall again. Got Banu on a run here. Is Banu on side? He takes a shot, finishes. He's on side. It's his 15th of the season. Essa Hall is on the assist, taking that early one nil lead. Hopefully going to jump us above standard at this point, putting us in second place. That was close, wasn't it? Was that close to being offsides to you guys, or was that just me? I would like to see it from the other angle, like the side angle. Yeah, okay, so they're saying it was a tight offside. So I thought, ooh, hairline, hairline there, good stuff. Okay, so Standard and Anderlecht are still tied up. I mean, okay, at this point, I'm happy with the draw. <laughs> if we're winning, I'm happy with the draw. Junior plays it over to Kawhi. Essa Hall, he's got it now. Hangs on to it to Schuffs. Hangs on to passes it to Schuffs. He moves it out to Richter, who beats his man. Take the shot, Richter. That's why. Richter. Richter, my dude. Come on now. You're better than that. You're a lot better than that. Anderlecht and Standard still at Neil Neil. And we've got a highlight here of Schuffs taking a corner kick to Mr. Anderson, who finishes it for his first of the season. Rob Schuffs is on the assist. And uh, Mr. Anderson is a guy who come into our starting lineup today. I mean, I know I was a little bit weary of making three changes to the back four, but uh, he's a starter. I mean, he's, he's a really good player. It's, it, it's kind of tough on him. Because Van Lerberg, I want to start Van Lerberg because of the, the experience he has. I want to start Norman Williamson because – I think he's just a little bit better, a little bit better than Mr. Anderson. And then Mr. Anderson's just the odd guy out. But uh, in the future, it's one of those situations we signed him thinking, hey, well, whenever we sell Mr. Whenever we sell Max Norman Williamson, we got Mr. Anderson sitting right there. We're ready to go in the lineup. And he's he's pushing to be on it all the time. 3 0 now. Kawhi gets a goal. While I was doing some chit chatting, Junior looks like he's feeling a little bit complacent out there. We're going to drop some praise on the guys. Hopefully, get him back up before halftime. We don't want to let something happen here. And we're going to go into half with a 3 0 lead. Good stuff. Pump the fist. Hey, the media, you know what they say. You, you, you guys know what they've been saying. They talk about us all the time. Okay, Anderlecht and Standard still tied up. Wow, 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 wow. They got a tough one there. Anderlecht takes the lead. One nil in the 54th minute. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the side today. They're looking good out there. Okay, we're going to make a change here. We're going to go ahead and make the change that I wanted to do to start with. Van Dallas is coming on. And then I want to get... Who do we want to bring on? You know... I do like Kalen Nock, but I'm going to do the smart thing. Schultz has been getting tired a lot, so he's going to come off already. See what we got here. Kalen Nock will probably be our final change. Well, maybe not. Essa Hall is now tired. So looking more and more likely like it's going to be Gasson, but also Richter, pretty tired as well. It's going to be Gasson. It's, that's a like for like change for us. It's not going to make us have to do anything different with our lineup. So uh, that's a that's a pretty easy decision for us. Highlight here for OHL. Miskovic says no, nah, it ain't a highlight for them. Well, the other guy does. He he took took it back from us. You tried hard, Miskovic. Good job. Essahal trying to win or not? Essahal Gasson. We don't keep the clean sheet. Don't keep it. Uh, well, that's a bit disappointing. I was hoping for the clean sheet. Started right there. If Kassan could have won that ball, he went for it. He didn't get it, unfortunately for us. Got four minutes of added time. We don't have to do anything. I mean, it's over. 3-1. Good job. Happy with it. Mr. Anderson, best performer, 8.0 for him. Happy with the result, the way he played, all that good stuff. You guys know exactly what we're going to say. And now I've got a, I've got a bit of a quandary because I wanted to come back and play the first leg of the semifinal. 
praise him for his performance. Uh, great job. I don't even know what I told him. And uh, I wanted to come back here for the first leg, but now it's kind of creating a little bit of an issue with it. So what I think we might actually do, hear me out, hear me out. It's going to be, we're going to play a good bit of matches in between this episode and the next one. And then we're going to have a back-to-back -back episode really quickly. So what we're going to do, because Anderlecht is top of the table, we're going to come back with Beerscott and Anderlecht. Then we're going to play the second leg. We're going to play this one match off screen. Come back with the very next Monday's episode will be the second leg of the semifinal first and standard after that second in the league or third in the league now after us beating them. So two huge matches in the two next episodes. Make sure you guys come back to check them out and see what we can do with it. Playing the two teams that we did today was not the plan. And I apologize for that. I should have paid attention to Streamlabs not showing any audio levels, but stuff happens. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.